Hello and welcome to the Inspiro Update video, October 2019. I'm your host and Inspiro Catalyst, Jorian. This is a series of videos we have internally in Inspiro. This is a summary of everything that happened last month, just so people get up to speed. And we've been told that this, those videos are great, it really helps people get connected and understand what's going on. And for the first time, we're doing a series that is very similar to the one that we do internally, but for people who are not part of Inspiro, people who are curious about Inspiro, people who want to understand how this works. This is less about the big ideas around Inspiro, and this is a true, real, monthly communication we have inside the network. So if you want to have a sneak peek of what the hell we're doing right now and also have a tangible example of how we communicate with each other, this video is, is one of them. And as you can see, this is literally a Google Docs file that I'm using to navigate this. It's, it's really not a Hollywood production. <laughs> okay, let's get right to the information. So there are two big things uh, happening in the Inspire uh, network right now. First. We are running through our co collaborative budgeting round. Basically, our foundation had surplus, so the surplus have been distributed for people who are interested, and now we are choosing how we're going to spend those funds. I cannot provide you the link to that. This is not open information. I'm sorry. But I can give you a sneak peek. This is what the titles look like. This is more or less how much money we're talking about. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, those are some of the things we've been discussing. It's a very interesting collaborative uh, uh, decision process. And if you're actually interested in the process as a whole, not only in this particular example, uh, there's a guide created by Greater Than, uh, which explains all everything about this process. It's very step-by-step, uh, -step. it has illustrations, it's uh, really beautifully designed. The link will be below. Uh, we are also changing how the catalyst, that is me and John, the other guy, <laughs> but it's a rotating role, so uh, eventually it will not be me, uh, but how their financially, uh, how their finances work, and we have a uh, sponsorship program that's a very new thing, and uh, we already have some sponsors uh, pledging some money every month, but we're not yet sustainable. Uh, and actually, this is something that even people from outside the network can help, with our newly, very newly, okay, it's really new Patreon page. And I'm telling you, it's so new that there's literally zero people because we opened it like a week ago or something. <laughs> but if you want to be our first uh, patron, that would be terrific. And uh, yeah, uh, there's a, of course, more explanation here. And uh, if you're interested in Inspiring Technologies, it's a good way for you to connect. Now let me talk about a little bit about what have we, we been writing, what have we been talking about, where have we been featured. Uh, so Alana, who has his work around leadership, uh, around uh, the different roles within uh, self-organized leadership, uh, she wrote this very interesting media article which talks about actually the dark side of the different kinds of leadership. So. No, not the, the self-managing fairy tale, but something more real. And the way she organizes it is with those archetypes. So eventually, when you're reading about it, you will find yourself. You will find your own leadership style and what your shadow might be. Which is a good segue for my own uh, Medium article. I wrote this article about uncomfortable games and how they can make us grow, in which I mention also a very weird experience that I had to find myself in the middle of a cult, like a really a cult ritual and remembering a game about cults. Uh, so if you're interested in uncomfortable art or a game culture, that might be a good read. Um, uh, Lisa, which is part of the network, she organizes this uh, podcast and sometimes I mention it. And this time I mentioned because actually even more people from the network uh, commented on it and said that this lady here, Nikki Kashtan, I hope that's the right way to say her name, Nick, Nikki Kashtan, uh, she, she's a really, uh, um, she has a really interesting uh, experience and she's talking about the thriving self-managing organizations and how, how they thrive. So if you're interested in self-org, 
this is a this is a good call. So our friend Joe is very interested in the biodiversity. He started this hive mind project uh, how, around biodiversity in New Zealand, and this is the latest version of his uh, of his work. He created this this is a brand new website that only have existed for a couple of weeks, and all the information is very. Uh, very well organized, very enticing, everything's so beautiful. So if you're interested in biodiversity, please give it a look. Uh, this is, uh, we have a story project called the Story Dojo inside Inspiro, and I can link, link it below, of course, um, if you want to give a look to our stories about humans and their practices. And this is our first uh, partnership, the Enlivening Edge magazine, which is a magazine all about TO and reinventing organizations. Uh, have uh, uh, kindly offered to repost everything we share. Also, they have a very interesting magazine, so if you give them a look, every, all the links will be below, okay? All the links! <laughs> uh, this is a text that Rich wrote uh, about call-out culture and the bad experiences he had and he, he feels about call-out culture in general. So if you, if you ever experienced this from either side, Please give it a look. It's definitely one of our most prolific and best writers. Really good read. Uh, Emmy and Emma are preparing an impact report on the impact of Inspiro, which is something really hard to measure. So it's a it's a complicated mission they gave themselves, but they are doing it very bravely. And this is the first sneak peek. It's a teaser we have from this um, from this uh, uh, impact report. And uh, if you're interested in what sort of, of impact an institution, uh, uh, an amalgama like Enspiro can create, I will leave this image below. And soon enough, we'll have the full report. Uh, Phoebe was mentioned in the Future is Be Beautiful podcast. Uh, she works with uh, a lot of with uh, climate grief these days. So I, I love the title of that, which is Systems Change, Courage and Apocalypse. It's very dramatic. <laughs> uh, so if you're interested in how should you feel about the imminent apocalypse, uh, this, is, this is a good uh, podcast for you to read and to listen to. Now, some offers and requests we have from the network. We actually have two big ones today. Uh, so this, this, as I mentioned, we have the Story Dojo uh, project and the first ever story published by Story Dojo was about Renato, this guy who questioned his life choices and in the end he decided to leave one of the biggest cities in the world to literally build his house with his hands and live in the middle of, sort of middle of nowhere in Sao Paulo, Brazil, in the state of Sao Paulo, Brazil. And uh, this story talks eventually talks about a horrible challenge that he faced when uh, somebody tried to burn the forest around his house, which would could in turn burn his own house. And he had to fight that force that was bigger than him. And unfortunately, a couple of days ago, just three days ago, it happened again. Somebody set fire to the terrain around his house and Renato fought the fire and he, he managed to save his house and his family is uninjured and he's okay, but he almost died. And his house didn't burn down, but everything around it is ashes. Now, uh, this is very recent news, it's very, very sad. Um, of course, I help him uh, write the story, so I am deeply connected with that. Uh, he's doing a crowdfunding campaign uh, to uh, buy Fire, uh, firefighting, professional firefighting equipment. Uh, it, unfortunately, it's in a Brazilian website, so uh, you can't really donate if you don't have a Brazilian account, but I will link his personal PayPal below uh, if you want to help this person survive and protect his family. Uh, it's a real need. Having everything around your house become ashes is... Ooh, it's too much. Okay, okay, let's go. Oh, okay, sorry about that. It was a downer, but it was important. Let's come back. So this is the Better Work Together platform, which is organized uh, by a bunch of Inspiralites, and it, it has deep connections with Inspiro. It's a platform for online courses that include, include live classes and many other things. Some of the first courses are already 
online like this uh, Better Decisions course with people from Lumio and Percolab. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just a new platform. There's some buzz going on around it. There's some great, great courses from great people. Uh, you remember Alana's talk, where is it here? This talk about the full circle leadership. Well, she does have a course here if you're interested. Uh, so yeah, just I'm just inviting you to give it a look. Uh, the, those courses are not gonna last forever, so you might find something that interests you right now. And just so you know, when the series started, it was not me, it was John, the other Catalyst, who would make the videos and he would add a moment of Zen. And I quickly found out that I'm really bad at providing Zen to people. So I created the moment of unzen. Uh, what is the most horrific thing uh, I've found within the Inspiro universe, uh, shared by Inspiro people on Slack in the past month? And it was this. Wait, I need to refresh it. It's horrible. <laughs> Which is a website. Oh, it's buggy. And, uh, please don't bug. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's bugging very hard. It is a website that tries to show you in a quantifiable way how many plastic bottles have been sold since you entered the website. And it's very cringy and it's horrible and that's the whole point. <laughs> well, folks, thank you for listening to my rambling. If you're in interested in this kind of video, if you, if you feel you understand a little better how Inspiro talks to Inspiro, please leave a comment below or leave a thumbs up on YouTube. Uh, we so far have no other way to really know if that's valuable to people. So please leave a comment, just, just say hi, it just uh, give me ideas on how I could improve this. And uh, next month there is more. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.